Now your first Warren 5 forecast, certified most accurate by weather rate. We had some rain and thunderstorm activity through the overnight hours, but that has been winding down through this morning. But I actually want to shift our attention to Tuesday. That's when it's looking like our next best chance of rain moves into the area as another storm system passes by the Great Lakes. So if you do have outdoor plans for Tuesday and you do have some flexibility with that, you might want to consider moving them to tomorrow or pushing them off until Wednesday. But if you do have plans that you might not be able to change on Tuesday, uh, maybe some after school activities, I would expect some wet weather uh, at that time. So here's a look at our first one five sky tracker this morning. Morning. We have a broad area of low pressure that's sitting off in the Rockies. That's the system that will be bringing that rain and sort of like we talk about with some of our winter storms, actually looking at two potential tracks for the system. There's still a little bit of variability with that. If it takes track one, which is more the northerly one, that means that more of our area, if not everybody, will be seeing that rainfall. But if it takes track two, which is the more southerly track, that means that not as much of the area sees rainfall. But really, this is just going to determine, determine who sees the rainfall rather than how much rainfall as we're still looking at some decent consistency as far as rainfall totals go associated with this system. Here's a wider look at your first one five hour by hour. This particular model is a little more enthusiastic about the coverage of this rain, having everybody in the lower peninsula under that. But some of our other models are a little more keen on keeping that rain just a little farther south in the lower peninsula. But regardless, it does look like if you are right along M46 and then south of there, uh, pretty much south of the Tri Cities, you do still stand a pretty good chance at seeing this rainfall on Tuesdays. So to put all this in summary, that better chance also does come in through the afternoon and the evening, though most of the day I would expect to see some sort of rainfall, but we have those two different tracks once again. That main takeaway also where we do see that rainfall, I would expect to pick up at least half of an inch of rain and rather than some isolated pockets of heavier rainfall, kind of like what we saw last night, I would expect to see some larger swaths of that heavier rainfall too. So that's all something that we'll watch over the next couple of days. Here's a live look across the bricks and downtown Flint this morning, though fairly quiet. Some damp roadways, though, after that rain moved through through the overnight, and we're still holding on to that cloud coverage, too. But your first one five pinpoint Doppler live from MBS has that rain off over Lake Huron at this point. The rest of us actually starting off uh, pretty dry at this point. Now, your first one five hour by hour keeps that rain moving off towards the northeast this morning, and we could have a few spotty showers redeveloping around midday and into the afternoon. You see those uh, green specks on the model there, but fairly light and fairly isolated for anything that does pop up. But we also have the chance to break into a few uh, pockets of sunshine around midday as well, but the clouds still largely hanging on. Even through the overnight hours, a stray shower is going to be possible, but by tomorrow morning, as you're heading out the door, we are looking dry, and then those clouds just hang on for Monday, but a dry day, fairly quiet uh, for tomorrow to start off the brand new work week. Looking at a high of 57 for tomorrow, even tonight, that overnight low still holding on to the 40s too, so fairly mild. And then your seven day forecast also holding on to 50s for the upcoming week. Now, Trevor, we did have a rain chance for Friday. That looks to be farther south in our area, but the upcoming week largely looking quiet.